Hi, I'm Dean Reinman. When people come to me, mostly what they want is more distance. Now there's really only two ways to get more distance. First is more club head speed. Second is more solid contact. We're going to work with getting more club head speed. As you swing your club back, one of the problems that people have is that they tend now to keep their right arm too close to their body. If I keep my right arm close to my body here and I try to swing fast, I only can create so much energy. If I was going to hit my hand hard, I'd swing my arm up like this and then hit my hand. If I swing here, I have to push at it. So one of the things you'll notice is when I swing my arm up like this, it looks like a right hand turn signal if you're riding a bike. So practice this first. Swing your hand back, right hand turn signal. Swing it down to the ball, and then try to swing your left hand up to a left hand turn signal. So what we have is an equal opposite movement. Right arm back to here, left arm up to here. Now we don't want to get the elbow up. Notice how I lifted it there. If I go back like this and I go up, I can't get the energy coming down. So when we swing up, you'll notice that my arm, it's not vertical to the ground. There's a little bit of an angle. This would be vertical. This would be up. This would be when it's relaxed in that shoulder socket. So you're trying to figure out how do you swing your arm up, get in that relaxed position here, not too far under, not too far up. Take your right hand, practice swinging it here, swing that down, and then you can take your left arm, swing it to the finish, and feel the same space and the same shape on both sides. Now take both hands, put it on the club. And what I want you to listen for is the whoosh. So I swing back here to the right hand turn signal, and then I shift a little bit, and then I swing the club past my body. You hear that air sound. That's when the face is actually squaring up to the air. As it squares up to the air, it creates more air sound or the whoosh sound. If I do it too late, like this, so over here, that ball's gonna slice to the right. If I do it too early, that ball's gonna hook, go to the left. So what I'm trying to do is to swing faster and get that really nice, long push sound. Once you do that, all you're trying to do when you go to the ball is repeat the same sense of air sound and don't worry about where the ball goes. Get set up over the ball, focus on the push. And if you do that, you're going to hit a lot farther and more often, more solid.